I'm sorry I don't have more planned for you guys this week, but I have a really good excuse. Um, I chased a plane, and then I had a whole bunch of television speaking engagements because I chased said plane, um, and that took up a lot of my time this week. Um, but in the fallout of everything that happened after I chased that plane, um, one user, Prince Noob Sauce, who I had, I had interviewed him uh, last November and posted the interview on Whovians USA. He's the one with the uh, almost Guinness World Record dreadlocks, and he had the Doctor Who compendium that was really old and the uh, really old Dalek figure that was still in the packaging. That guy. Um, he sent me a very old clip of the BBC's behind-the-scenes footage of making the Doctor Who theme. And this is from the 80s. It's from the uh, Peter Davison era. And I think you'll all enjoy it. We're here in a studio of the BBC's Radiophonic Workshop, and it's here that the electronic music and sounds for the BBC television series Doctor Who are composed and recorded. That music you were just hearing is a signature tune to Doctor Who, and Peter Howell, who is one of the six composers who work here, is going to show us how he created and recorded the music. Well, just in case there's anybody out there who really doesn't know what it looks like or sounds like, this is actually what you see on the programme. <laughs> Actually, Ron Grainer wrote the original Doctor Who theme. And the producer thought, well, we want to make it a bit brighter and more modern sounding. And so we took Ron Grainer's theme and uh, created a more modern sound. Mm. Uh, this is the beginning of it. What did you use to make that sound? Um, well, I used this synthesizer here. It's a, a very modern synthesizer, polyphonic, plays mm. up to eight notes at a time. And as you can see, there are lots of preset sounds. Take these two sounds here, uh, funky one and two. Um, let's get that chord going, there we are. Now, in order to get the sting effect, which is on the front of the theme music, mm. we then introduce what they call the ring modulator. It's changing it, the That's right. sound, isn't it? I don't know whether you recognise it, but it's what they used on the Dalek vo voices, the ring modulator. There we are. And it's going further and further, and it's now getting more metallic. Sounds like it. A Dalek, isn't it? It's yeah, well, it's got that aggressive sound. Well, that's no good because it hasn't got that sort of sweep on the front. So if we introduce that, the theme. Sort of whoosh. That's it. Thing so so we've yeah. got to introduce that gradually. Let's see. That's it. Here it comes. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. Mm. Yeah. Now we need to record it onto this multi track tape machine. Uh, in this case, on track one. Mm. Let's make sure it's going in. Right, so going to record. We can see the needle moving, which means that we're recording that's track it. number one of 16 tracks. That's it, and we've just recorded the sting, so we've started. And that's how most records are made, isn't it, these that's days? That's right, yes. Mm. Mm. Well, let's get back to the theme and think about uh, one of the two sounds that uh, are probably the most recognisable in the theme, the boom ba boom sound. So let's try and get that sound. Um, now we have the sting set. Let's get rid of the sting. Go back to that sort of sound. There we are, almost there. So, now actually for this version of the signature tune, I, I did a constant bass note like that. 
it's a, it's a steady pulse. Right. Yeah. And you've obviously got to keep that in tempo. So you uh, you have to play to some sort of metronome. Well, we use a, a click track like that off a, off a synthesizer. Mm. And that enables you to play along with it and be absolutely certain that you're in time. So a precise tempo. Oh, so. uh, yes. The tune I always think of when anyone mentions Doctor Who is the high-pitched one, the do we Ah, oh, yes. Well, that was done on this machine here. Uh, you know, I've got the click track on it at the moment, which we heard earlier, so let's get rid of that. Soften the front a bit. Well, obviously you've got to glide between the notes, because it doesn't really sound like that. So we'll put some glide in. There. Mm. Add a bit of echo. Let's see what that sounds like. A bit of wobble on the end. Mm. That's basically how it was done. Uh, the next phrase was done using this box here, which is the vocoder. And this gives out uh, um, an electronic but voice-like sort of quality. And I'll show you what I mean. If you, if you just play a, um, a chord or notes on the keyboard here, you can't actually hear them, but you can see that they've got into the, the box here by the green light being on there. Now, the only way you can let it out of the box, as it were, is to speak into this microphone, and it comes out of the box sounding like your voice. So your voice releases the note you're playing on the That's keyboard? That's right. Look, I'll show you. Here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Peter, what's this over here? It's very old-fashioned to me. Well, it is rather, but it's uh, it's a very useful little box. It's a phase unit. It's what I use for the end explosion. Uh, let's just turn it on. Let's get a sound out of this. That was the old sound we had. So. Right, well, there's a fairly normal explosion. It's coming out of there. If we put it through this box, we'll see that it's got a sort of fireworks sound with it. Mm. And although this box actually isn't working very well, in fact, it's gone wrong, I think it makes a very good noise anyway. And uh, we never throw anything away at the workshop. Mm. Well, we've seen you using all this electronic equipment, which is all very complicated. Is there anything else you use to create the sounds you're looking for? Oh, very often we record ourselves banging drain pipes or uh, whirling ashtrays on tabletops and things like that. Anything that can be reduced to a bit of tape and we can work with. I mean, the, the sound of the um, TARDIS taking off was actually done with uh, somebody's front door key scraping down a piano string. For the Doctor Who theme music you use mainly the synthesizers and electronic equipment. That's right. How long did that take you to finish? Well, it was something like well, five and a half weeks, something like that. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Pleasure. Well, let's cut down those five and a half weeks now to just about a minute and watch Peter Howell as he once more records and creates the theme tune to Doctor Who. <laughs> 